Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and very good morning to Dr. Ujila. We are group 6 are going to present on the application of thermodynamics microwave oven. First of all, I'm going to introduce ourselves. My name is Muhammad Hizu Iman Muhammad Khalid. My matrix number is 208009. And my other two members is Muhammad Hafiz Imran bin Muhammad Fazil with matrix numbers of 206885 and Koh Ken Shen with matrix numbers of 206019. So without further ado, we will start our presentation. Introduction. Firstly, what is a microwave oven? I had the answer with me, which is that microwave ovens are electric ovens that, that heat food in the microwave frequency range by exposing it to electromagnetic rays. Now we know how a microwave oven works, but how does the microwave oven work? It works by stimulating polar molecules in food to move and generate thermal energy in a process called dielectric heating. That's it. But I have extra information about the microwave oven. The microwave heats, heats food quickly and efficiently because excitation is fairly uniform in the outer, in the outer which is 25 to, 30, uh, to 38 millimeter of a homogeneous high water content food item. Now we are done with the introduction. Moving on the working principle of microwave oven. Firstly, Microwave ovens work on the principle of converting electromagnetic energy into thermal energy. Electro electromagnetic energy refers to radiation that consists of an electric field and a magnetic field that vibrate per perpendicular to each other. Next, when a polar molecule, a, po a molecule of opposite charge, is placed in the path of this electromagnetic radiation, it vibrates to coordinate with it. This leads to the loss of energy in the dipole through, through friction and molecular collisions, which lead to heating. Water molecules in our food are exposed to a, to a similar phenomenon when they come into contact with microwave radiation that hits food from the inside. I have, I have extra information here on working principle of microwave oven, which are microwave are electromagnetic radiation with frequency between 300, 300 megahertz and 300 gigahertz, and their wavelength vary from 0 0.9 meters to 0 0.0009 meters, or in most ovens, a microwave frequency of 2.24 gigahertz is used. These dimensions allow microwaves to penetrate deep into the food and cook it from the inside, while the temperature around the food is kept constant to, due to the non-polarity of the air. Moving on the working mechanism in microwave oven. In a microwave oven, there are lots of components working inside, so I will explain in detail how it works to heat foods. Heating food in the microwave is very easy. However, the mechanism of the process is somewhat unusual. After the microwave have been generated in the microwave, they are directed by the waveguide onto the food in the, in the, in the oven. Microwave penetrate the surface of food and reach the water molecules inside. As the direction of the electric field changes over time, the polar water molecules attempt to follow the field by changing their direction in matter to move along the field lines in very de desirable configurations. As these molecules change directions quickly, about at least a million, a million times per second, they receive energy and raise the temperature of matter. This process is known as dielectric heating. The power of the microwave decreases according to the inverse square law. So the cooking chamber in which we place the food is designed is in such a way that the heating effect of the microwave is maximized. In addition, most microwave ovens have a door switch that prevents the process from starting until the door is completely closed. Hi, my name is Ho Ken Shen. I will explain about the first, uh, the first law of thermodynamics part. The first law of thermodynamics is called uh, conservation of energy. The conservation of energy is related to work and the effect of the transfer. The first law of thermodynamics says that the energy neither uh, can neither be created nor destroyed or only can transfer into another form. For any system, energy transfer is related to mass crossing the uh, control boundary, uh, external work or heat transfer across the boundary. So as an example, uh, microwave oven is a control volume and the, there's work done uh, such as turntable and the heat transfer when you turn on. So work is needed to indicate to know that the capacity of a system to do work. So the term is called energy. So you can uh, assume that you can think that uh, when, you, when you want to stretch a string fully, you need uh, more, more, more work than the string is slightly stretched. So another example is a liter of hot water needs more greater energy than a liter of cold water. Therefore, the concept of concept of energy is a measure of a capacity of a system to do work. So you can see on the slide is the energy balance uh, for the 
equation. The total energy is equal to the change in kinetics, potential, and internal energy. And it is equal to the net energy uh, transferred by heat work at mass. Yes. And the red color equation is U equals to Q minus W is the final equation we use. And it means that the change in internal energy of a system is equal to the heat added to the system minus the work done. Hence, the application of micro oven use this formula to calculate. And micro, micro is in stationary energy, and we can so that we can neglect the kinetics and potential energy. So just now, uh, I, uh, I have ex explained that the energy cannot be created or destroyed, so uh, it only can be transferred. So there's three conservation uh, energy in a micro, microwave oven. So first, uh, the uh, first, the process of energy conversion is from mechanical energy change to electrical energy, and last to change to radiant and thermal energy. So mechanical energy is when we pressing the button on the socket to turn on the microwave oven, and it will change to electrical energy when the uh, electrical flow from the socket to the power cord into the microwave, microwave oven and start to convert to heat to cool the food. After that, uh, just like uh, my teammate um, Iman say that the microwave uh, have has a magnetron to produce a microwave. So uh, when the vibration of electric charge makes the magnetron function, it will produce electromagnetic wave that carry out radiant energy and convert convert to thermal energy to cook the food pot. So next is the heat transfer in microwave oven. So uh, heat transfer is an exchange of thermal energy between two objects. So that the rate of the heat transfer depends on the temperature of each uh, object and the medium. So there are three types of heat transfer, which are radiation, convection and conduction inside. So radiation is the process where heat and light uh, strikes and penetrate your food. So there's no direct contact uh, between heat source and the uh, between heat source and the cooking food. Yeah. The microwave oven uh, bump into the food water molecule and causing them vib vibrate rapidly to create friction to help the, the food uh, penetrate. So the larger the food, the more uneven the microwave uh, penetrate. So the next is convection. Convection occurs by the movement of food around the food, uh, which uh, combines conduction heat transfer and the fan uh, circu uh, circulation to force molecule in the air in an oven to move from uh, warmer to cooler area. So as the molecule closer to the heat source become warm, uh, it will rise and replace the uh, replaced by the cooler molecule. And uh, uh, for example, the food heat up in an oven and the heat move around the food circulate by the fan. So last is conduction. Conduction transfer the heat using direct contact where uh, food transmit heat in an oven through collision between water molecules. As the outside of the food become warm, the heat move into the center of the food and continuing, uh, continuing inward until the food is heated properly. So that's all from me. I will pass it to Hafi. Hi, my name is Muhammad Hafiz Imran. So I will explain about the second law of thermodynamics. Second law of thermodynamics state that the heat can flow spontaneously from a hot object to a cold object which is the entropy increase and the change of entropy will be greater than zero. In a simple word, we use microwave oven to heat the food. So there will be a heat transfer from the microwave oven, which is the higher temperature, into the food, which is the lower temperature. So how does the second law of thermodynamics can apply into the microwave oven? First of all, microwave oven has a microwave generator, which is called a magnetron. Basically, a magnetron will blast the wave into the food compartment through a waveguide. After that, microwave will bounce back and pop the metal walls of the food compartment. This will make the temperature of oven increase. The heat from an oven will transfer into the food, which is follow the second law of thermodynamics. In the meantime, the microwave will reach and penetrate into the food. This will cause the molecules inside the food vibrate. As we know, the faster the molecule vibrate, it will increase the temperature of the food. Last but not least, the temperature of the food will be equal as the temperature of the oven. As a result, the food will become warm and ready to eat. For thermal analysis, in microwave oven, there are two main components which are, which are high voltage transformer and cavity microwave. For high voltage transformer, this component works as power supply that supply electric power to cavity microwave. In the cavity microwave, the electrical energy will convert to electrical radiation. These two parts will work together to increase the temperature of the food. From this, we can relate the system with the equation of energy balance below which is work in plus mass for it in, multiply with enthalpy one equal to mass for it out, multiply with enthalpy two. That's all from us, thank you.